The maintenance workshop with support from the German government is to help the immigration service maintain its fleet of vehicles to enhance its work. Speaking at the commissioning, Mrs. Sevan Johnson said there are a host of problems in the Sahel regions ranging from competition for scarce resources to terrorism. So they span from competition over very scarce resources, the need for increased state support for social services and development, tensions between migrating and local communities, chieftaincy conflicts, organized including transporter crime, and last but not least, radical and extremist forces in the direct neighborhood, retreating also into Ghana. I don't want to paint a bleak picture on such a happy occasion, but I am sure that everyone here has realized how the focus of Germany and the EU also, including the member states and other international actors, has really shifted to the Sahel and as such also to the northern parts of Ghana. We and our international friends we aim for the best future for this region. Um, and it is in all of our best interest to keep Ghana safe and enable her to fulfill the prosperous future that she deserves. The Deputy Controller General of Immigration, Finance and Administration, Isaac owusu said the garage will go a long way to mitigate the challenges faced by the service. Today, we are very pleased to observe the successful completion of the construction of this facility. And I must emphasize that this will go a long way to mitigate the problem faced by the service in maintaining its fleet of vehicles and motorbikes that are deployed particularly to remote areas for operational activities, including security operations. Northern Regional Minister Shani Al Hassan Shai will call for maintenance to increase its lifespan. Edifices that have been inaugurated with fanfare have been allowed to deteriorate few years after usage. All due to absence of operations and maintenance plans to ensure that they are regularly maintained. Against this background, I want to request the GIS to put up a robust operational and maintenance plan that would give this modern facility an everlasting lifespan. The Northern Regional Commander of the Immigration Service, Dr. Prosper Asma, said the challenges faced by commanders in the northern regions cannot be overemphasized. It is near impossible to enumerate all the difficulties that commanders in the northern regions and I go in trying to maintain and service vehicles. Numerous vehicles and motorbikes have been grounded due to the non-availability of the requisite paths, the lack of adequate expertise, tools, and the long distances to be traveled to procure relevant paths, just to mention a few. This really is a one-stop solution and a game changer to our automobile servicing and repair problems.